Hey guys, let me show you how I built this Shorby page. Take a look. So here's the URL at the top, and this is the page I was able to create. It's basically a link in bio page. It's a landing page that you can add to your Instagram. It allows you to connect all of your followers to multiple different links and social platforms. So take a look. Here we go. Here's the title. Here's the description. Here's all of my contact information. Here's all of my latest YouTube videos. Uh, here's my latest blog post from uh, my website, and then here is all of my social media links. So now my followers can get my latest content, they can contact me, they can read my latest posts, and they're able to connect with me on all my other social media platforms. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this page. It takes about 10 minutes, but let's dive in right now. Okay guys, so I paid for the Shorby uh, plan and I actually did the monthly so I'm paying $15 a month and now I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna show you exactly how I built my LinkedIn bio page using Shorby and I'm gonna show you some of the cool features that I really like that they offer so when you first log into Shorby here you go you can create your new project I'm gonna create a page because I want to add this link to my Instagram so let's create a page and here is the blank template the first thing I'm probably gonna want to do is you're gonna add a profile image so let's do that let's see if i can find one really quick i'm just going to select something and here we go this is the link in bio image let's upload that okay so now that you can see we got the profile image you might want to put your business brand or your logo um, or something in there okay so now that i've added that profile image i'm going to publish it just so we can get an idea what it looks like and here we go so now we're starting to build the page and you can clearly see that it's blank but let's keep moving and we'll make this as quick as possible um let's add a let's do our socials i encourage everybody um whether you have a business or if this is just for your personal site create a spreadsheet so you have all of your social links so if you have your twitter facebook youtube snapchat what have you twitch have all of your links in a spreadsheet and i've already done this so i'm going to go ahead and just start pasting these in to show you how it shows up so let's do it okay so i'm going to grab my facebook page name and let's see what happens let's add it here and i'm just going to go ahead and save that right now and let's take a look and we'll publish it let's update this page and see if it shows up okay great so now i added a facebook link and i'm going to go ahead and go back through all of these um, links or the social links and uh, add them and show you how it looks okay so i added my facebook i've added my instagram i've added the twitter page i put in the youtube channel url so that's a complete url and then TikTok. i've added the username and then at the bottom i've added linkedin so i'm going to go ahead and save that and you can see here they've added all of the icons to the bottom of the page now i'm going to publish this and we're going to refresh this page so look now we have a link this link up here that we can use that will connect all of our users, our followers, to our other social media platforms. So let's keep going and we're gonna add some more design elements to this. Okay, so I'm back in, Sh in Shorby's editor. Let's click on settings. And here we can change the color and the theme. So notice the background is white. I'm gonna go with something more blue, maybe a little bit darker. Um, as you can see, as I move around, you can select the color that fits better for you. Um, let's go with, um, okay, we'll just go with this for now. And then you can also, what, which is really cool, is change the name. So if you don't like their um, auto assign name, you can put in something else. And I'll just put in XYZ. Let's see if it'll save that dash. Okay, let's publish it. All right, and we are going to copy that. Let's go back here and let's take a look at okay so now we have the background color we have our profile image and we have all of our social links let's go back to the editor and see what else we can do another thing i want to show out show you guys in the settings is you can add your facebook pixel which is great so if you're an advertiser and you want to retarget any of your followers or the people who visit this page you can do that with a facebook pixel i'm not going to go into details but uh just keep in mind that that's a possibility so if you're an internet marketer this will make a lot of sense to you but let's keep moving and we'll dive into that uh, in more detail in another video okay so you're probably going to want to just add a basic link uh, maybe to your website or your blog and I'm going to do that right now type that in and so now it's looking up the page for me 
And you can, ch you can, the cool thing about Shorby is you can choose different layouts for your button. Notice I'm clicking on these. Um, and it pulls an image, usually the featured image, from your page. So let's just go ahead and do that. And I will save that. We'll publish it. And then let's take a look at how and see. So there we go. Now this is an image that they pulled. And they've added the text from the title of your page. And if you were to click on that, it'll go to that URL, which is my um, website. But let's keep moving and let's build this page out and get a better uh, design going. Another thing I want to point out is if you want to edit this and you don't want to use this title that they've automatically pulled, you could just put in website or you could put in maybe something like blog. And so you can see how it updated below. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. We'll publish it and let's refresh. So if you just want to use a more simple looking URL, Notice that the text here below um, is your anchor text, which is great. So you can modify that and customize that any, any way you want. Now let's go back to the editor. Okay, now let me show you how to add dynamic content. Now what dynamic content means is your um, page will update in real time whenever new content is added. This is great for YouTubers. So you click on add block, click dynamic feed, and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste in our YouTube channel. It's the channel URL, and here's, here we are at YouTube. This would be your channel um, link or your URL. You want to copy that, paste that into Shorby as a dynamic feed. And it brings up a few things. You can do thumbnails like this, or uh, you can do cards, and that's uh, pretty cool. So it gives you the play um, icon over your... Uh, featured image and then it adds the text below and then or you can just do tiles something like that depending on whatever style you like and then of course you can choose how many of the videos you want added what's interesting about this is if I were to post a new video to my YouTube channel it's gonna replace this top video with my latest video and then it's gonna bump all of these down to fill in the spaces so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this um, of course here's a new you can hide the titles and that'll make it a little more clean for you so let's go ahead and do that, and we'll click this, and we'll save that. So there we go. So now we have all of our YouTube videos from our channel on our page. Let's click Publish, and let's take a look and see what that looks like. There you go. So what, what's really cool about this is you can add this link to your TikTok. You can add it to your Instagram, and now all of your followers will see your most recent content. You don't have to manually go update that link. This will do it automatically for you. So it's a great uh, hands-off way for you to uh, create new content for your followers and get your followers to engage with your YouTube content. All right, so let's get back to the editor and we'll keep on moving. So another cool thing that you can do is you can add a subtitle and text, which is great. So what I'm going to put here is um, um, my blog posts and uh, read my latest posts from our blog. And what this does is it gives you this new element or block, I guess is what they're calling it. And what you wanna do is you can actually drag and drop this. So I'm gonna put it between these two. So notice I have my YouTube videos here and then I'm gonna separate that with this title and a description. And then below I can put my blog posts and we'll publish that. And let's refresh the page. Here we go. So there, now you can see we can separate our content with these uh, different blocks, which is called da, 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 the subtitle and text. So let me show you the next block, which is pretty cool too. Okay, so I wanna show you how to add uh, your WordPress dynamic content, which is pretty cool. If you wanna drive your followers from your social media platforms to your latest blog post, this is how you would do it. So you click add post, go to dynamic feed, Okay, let's go back, add food, dynamic feed. Now here, put in an RSS feed. So what's great about this is every WordPress site has an RSS feed, okay? So let me grab that and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I found the URL and this is the RSS feed to my blog or one of them. And let's let it load. Now notice it pulls in all of the latest posts, anything that has been posted. So anytime I post, make a, create a new post, those posts will dynamically be added to this page which is great. So now you don't have to edit your URL in Instagram or TikTok or wherever you place this URL. So it's a great way to show your most uh, recent content. I'm just gonna go down to three and, I'll, and it's mixed 
And you can, you know, switch the layout to whatever uh, fits you, however you want to do it. And I'm just going to go ahead and do thumbnails because I like the smaller. And I'm going to save that. And notice it's here. So what you can do is you can actually just grab this and you can drag it to wherever you want. And I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. And it, let's go down one. And then we'll go down one more. There we go. A little, there we go. So now that we've added all of those posts, we could separate those if we wanted with another block, which would be the uh, subtitle and text. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I've already showed you how to do it. So let's keep moving, and I'm going to show you a couple more cool things before we wrap this up. Now let's explore the messengers. If you want your followers or anybody who visits your page to be able to connect with you, of course, there's tons of ways. You know, you have uh, Messenger, Telegram, Skype, of course. And I'm just going to show you how quick... I'm just going to put in some fake names. And if you want to put in an email, hello at google.com, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. If you want to put in your phone number, of course, we'll just put in whatever. And let's save it. Okay, great. So now you have all your contact information at the very top. Some of you may want to do that, and this is a great way to do it with these blocks. And of course, you can drag and drop this, or actually, you cannot drag and drop this. So it just puts it at the top. Or wait, is it? Yep, that's it. Uh, but you can edit the title. So hello, title. And description, uh, this is the description of my contact info. Great. Let's publish that. Let's see what it looks like. So the dynamic feed wasn't available with my plan. Ooh, curious. So apparently we have to spend a little bit more money per month. And I guess we can't do that. So let me go ahead and remove that and let's go back. So let's figure out which uh, dynamic uh, feed is not available. Okay, so what they made me remove was the RSS feed from WordPress. I guess if you need to have that feature, you're going to have to go to settings or let's see, let's figure out how to change the pricing. Okay, so uh, click on insights and then it brings you to this editor and you, you can click on your profile up here and go to pricing. So let's take a look at, okay, dynamic feeds. So you'll see that uh, the rocket plan does not offer you the dynamic feeds. So I guess you'll have to go up to the $24 a month or, or $29 a month. And if you pay by the year, uh, it'll be a total of $24 a month or not a total, but you get a, um, a discount. So dynamic content not available for the rocket plan, available for the pro and agency plans. So let's get back to the editor and we'll wrap this up. I also want to show you that this is the insight page. So it gives you a total um, visitor count. So we've had 10 people, which is basically me. And then each one of these links, it'll give you um, insight or give you a total of people clicking on them. So if somebody clicked on your phone number, if somebody clicks on your uh, Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, it's going to count those and let you know where people are going from your Shorby page. So let's go back and I'm going to edit this page. So click on the edit next to this and it'll bring us back. So here we are back to the editor. OK, so that's pretty much it. There is one more uh, block. It's called the countdown feature. You can you can schedule a link or a block to expire or to exist. So for three days, um, it'll display on your page. You can add an image, a title, a text, and then a URL. So people will be able to, so if you're running maybe a contest or you have content that it's going to expire, you can set a time limit and then it'll disappear. This is not available in this rocket plan, so we're not able to really demo it unless we were to upgrade, but you get the idea. So this is the page. Now, what I wanna show you is how to add it to Instagram, which is the most important feature and the reason why we're building this because you want to be able to add multiple links to your Instagram. So what you want to do at the very bottom is you click the copy. Now we've copied this link that we built. Go to your Instagram page, click edit profile. Now this is on your on the PC. Um, you can it, it's a little bit different um, uh, on your phone. So what you want to do is go to your website, paste this URL, go ahead and click submit. And now you've saved it. Now let's take a look at the Instagram page, go to profile. And there, now we have the Shorby link in your profile. So now all of my followers will be able to click this link and go to the Shorby page with all of my updated dynamic content. So that's Shorby in a nutshell. 
Thank you for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do all of this with a free service. So if you don't want to pay for the monthly fee on Shorby, there are free alternatives out there. And I'm going to show you how to do it in the next video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the other side.